Hello everyone, my name is Daniel from Career Point Solutions and I want to welcome you to watch this video about jobs and career and careers as I will be giving you some insight that I've collected over time in this field. And just to start, I would like to ask you two simple questions just to make sure that you are the right person who is watching this video. And if the answer for both questions is yes, then I will ask you to hang on it there and you will get the solutions to all your job search problems. So the first question is, are you actively looking for a job? Secondly, have you applied for a job or jobs and got no response? If the answer is yes for both the question, then I would like to say that you are the right person and you're watching this video at the right time because I'm going to share with you how do you get to a point where you just apply for a job once get a response from the employer go for the interview and you get that job so welcome to start i would also like to introduce myself my name is daniel Matuko. i'm the founder of career point solutions and i have gathered an, uh, seven years of experience since 2011 uh, working in the field of recruitment as a career advisor and also as a career coach in terms of education, I've done a Bachelor of Science from the University of Nairobi and thereafter did a postgraduate certificate in Education International from the University of Nottingham. Apart from that, I'm also a certified digital marketer by Google and in the course of this session, I will share with you how you can get certified as a digital marketer by Google all for free. So there's a lot coming in. Among the groups or membership that I'm a member of uh, several clubs, that is uh, LYP, League of Young Professionals, GNI, which is Global Networking Investment, and other group. About Career Point Solution, our mission at Career Point Solution is to make people more employable and to increase their earning potential. And everything that we do is always focused to fulfill this mission, making people more employable, increase their earning potential and we use different uh, platform for example this video that we are sharing with you all free of charge by the end of it you will be more employable you will know what to do to be able to get a job and also you will have increased your earning potential once you know your worth so i will start again i will ask you to uh, reflect and ask yourself why not now why not start this process now why not now? This is a good time. As the 20th century starts to wind down a few more years as we get ready for century 21, what a good time to set your goals, work on yourself, work on your skills. What a good time to get it together. What a good time to start this process. Personal development, growing, changing, developing having a good plan for your money and for your life and for your future. Why not now? What's now? I'm, no opportunities wasted. Listen to me carefully, guys. Listen to me very carefully. You got to hear what I'm saying. This is important. There are 86,400 seconds in a day, and if you maximize each and every one of them, you will live like you want to live, you will have what you want to have, and you'll be what you want to be. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. If you just remain how you are, you'll always have what you've got. But if you're willing to make changes, the next five years of your life can be totally different than the last five. If you don't change, chances are excellent the next five will be like the last five. For things to change, you've got to change. For things to get better, it's not what happens that determines your future. It's what you do about what happens. Direction determines destination. All you got to do is make a little change in direction to arrive at a brand new destination in two years, three years, five years. You either have to change your life. That is, you gotta say, you know what? My body isn't there, I'm gonna go work out. My relationship isn't there, I'm gonna change it. You know, I'm not making what I'm going to make. I'm going to retool. I'm going to get a new skill. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to start a business. I'm going to do something. You have to do something to change your life. Or, in order for you to be happy, if you can't change your life, you're going to have to change your blueprint. Usually in life, it requires a little bit of each. Does that make sense? 
And if you change your, take, change your life and change your blueprint, you can have an extraordinary life. Because all of us are going to have times in our life when what we want or think life should be like isn't going to match how life really is. Those moments, if we blame, our life goes into pain. If we change, we can change our life and match our blueprint. The fact that you're not happy has nothing to do with what you have or don't have. The fact that you're not happy is that your life doesn't match the way you think it should be. And you have some idea of how you think it should be. Listen to me. There are those of you who what you're doing is that there are 10 opportunities in a day and you're taking advantage of seven of them and you think you're doing something. Yep, you gotta hear me, you gotta hear me. You only have 24 hours in a day and you've heard me say this time and time again. The way you spend your 24 hours, it determines how you live. If you want the future to change for you, you've got to change. If you don't change, the next six years of your life is gonna be just like the last six. You'll still be behind on your bills. You'll still be behind on your promises. No opportunity wasted. Again, no opportunity wasted. One of us can do it. Hey, we all can do it. And now here's my last question. Why not now? And I would repeat, why not now? By the end of this broadcast or this session that you watch this video, you will know these two key things. How to get a job. What are the latest job search tips and tricks that you can use to ensure that you get a job and secondly once you get that job how do you stay competitive in the job market in other words how do you self set yourself apart whereby out of this crowded place you can be spotted and to help you do that I will start by marinating you into a bit of data once there's a job that has been sent out there for to be filled and we advertise job on average, it receives over 250 applications. If you're in the field of accounting, finance, business, the figure goes even higher to about 500 applications. And most likely, they're looking to fill this position with only one person. Now, out of all these applications that have been sent, 75% of the applicants are not actually qualified to do this job. In other words, I'm saying it is an accounting job that has been advertised, but you'll find people who have done IT applying, people who have done engineering, people who have done law, people who have done business management, customer service. They don't have any direct qualification for this job. And that leaves us with 25% of people, not that are qualified, but somehow they have some skills and experience in the field, which is only 63. And I'm using the figure 250 to get these percentages. Now another figure or you think that will buffer you is that out of all the application, only 2% of the candidates get invited for an interview. And 2% of 250 means only 5 people are called for an interview. And out of these 5 people, you end up with, they end up picking only one. And this is just why you see so many people saying, I've applied for so many jobs, um, these jobs are not for real, uh, these jobs that are online, they just waste your time, they don't work. I want to tell you, out of 250, only one person is saying that this job is real. And just to give you a caution, that sending out more application does not increase your chances of getting hired. But sending out better application does help you. And I'll get to the point where I'll be discussing what is entailed when we are making better application. What do you think we, uh, we people do differently to make better application? Just sending out application doesn't help you, but you need to make fewer and better application. But before we get there, I also want to discuss some of the things that we do that sabotage ourselves as we are looking for a job. I know you might be wondering, how can I sabotage myself? I really need that job. I want to get a job. I cannot do anything to sabotage myself. Unfortunately, I'm here to tell you straight in your face that you are doing some things that are sabotaging yourself. And I, there are so many things that people do. I will focus only on two main things that I've found coming over and over very often in my uh, job as a recruiter. And these are one, 
when people have limiting thoughts when you have limiting thoughts you are applying for a job but at the back of your mind you're just saying this won't work i can't do this this job is too much for me these jobs are not real they cannot they won't like me even if uh, i was to go for an interview i can't leave this job the job that i'm working here this is all my life i can't work there and surprisingly when you have these limiting thoughts they manifest themselves in your application and the recruiter as they read your application they're able to see some of this i've seen so many people who have instead of applying from the point of strength of what they are bringing to the company they're just talking of how desperately they're looking for a job why they need that job and these limiting thoughts you can be able to see them for those who have watched the documentary called the secret thoughts manifest themselves and it is true and you're sending that signal that I cannot be able to do this job. So that is the first thing I need to stop doing. And secondly, you need to learn how to follow instructions. Most of the people get knocked off. The 75% of people who get knocked off are right, outright people who don't follow instructions. You have been told, attach your CV send your application and attach your CV. You go ahead and attach your CV, your cover letter, your certificate, your transcript, your driving license, your ID, your P number. All these things are not necessary. You're not following instruction. And imagine, if you are the recruiter yourself, you're receiving 250 emails and each email has about five to 10 attachments they don't go through all this information. So that is one of the things they use to just kick people out. And if you're able to follow simple instruction, you will be in a position to get a job. My job is very simple. We all start from a point where we say, I won't do it, or I can't do it. Then you realize that it is important for you to do it and you say, I want to do it. And I'm glad that you're watching this video because it shows that you are at that level. You want to do it. You want to apply for that job and get it. You want to progress in your career. So you ask yourself, how do I do it? And in this session, we will share with you exactly what you need to do. And once we give you this power, we give you the knowledge, you need to go out there and try it out. And once you try, you will get to a point you say, I can do it. I will do it. And finally, you become successful. So this is the progress on which we will be focusing on. Today we will be answering the question, how do I do it? So we go back to the question that I say, uh, the issue of making better application. So what do you need when you're doing an application to be able to do a good application? There are three key things that I will focus on during this uh, bit. The first thing that you need to have is a job description. It is necessary when you're doing an application to take a look at the job description, the advert that was put out there and ask yourself, is this person they are looking for? Is this person me? Am I the person they are looking for? Look at the duties that you're supposed to be doing. Look at the qualifications that they are looking for. Look at the kind of personal attributes they are looking for. And if the answer is yes, I match this description, then I ask you, go ahead and apply for that job. If the answer is no, ask yourself, how close do I get to be this person? You communicate this, that you are the right candidate, you are the right person for this job, using a cover letter. And I'll be taking time to explain how you do a cover letter. A cover letter being a very specific, customized application for a job, which is customized to the job description. They are looking for an accountant who can do ABCD. You say, I'm the accountant who can be able to do ABCD. And I will just demonstrate in a short while. Secondly, and thirdly, you need a professional CV. And please note, I don't just say a CV. I am specifically saying a professional CV. And I will explain what that is. So imagine this is a job description. I just picked some of the duties that have been put here for an accountant and the job description wants someone and all the duties of this person will be to establish review and establish proper accounting systems uh, support budget and focusing activities liars with internal and external auditors 
if this is what are the duties of the person that they want to employ, you need to have somewhere in your cover letter expressing that you are the right candidate and it should read something like this. I have the ability to review and establish proper accounting system. In my previous employment at ABC, I was involved in liaising and uh, uh, liaising with internal and external auditors. And once the recruiting manager reads this cover letter, they feel like this is the person that we are looking for. So you have customized your job, uh, your cover letter to match the job description. And that's why I said it is important to have the job description. Now, this is just a small part of the cover letter. You do your full cover letter, then you attach a professional CV. So the question is, what is a professional CV? What is the difference between a CV and a normal, a normal CV and a professional CV? Now, normally CVs are just documents uh, which are documenting your work experience and education. We don't want a piece of paper with just the documentation of where you've worked and where you've schooled. We need to use a professional CV. And a professional CV is a marketing document which you use to market yourself. Now, I want you to think of any company. They have a product or a service that they want to bring to the market. And for you to be able to know about this product, they market it. They might decide to take different marketing routes or strategies. They might go to the television and do a commercial. They might put an advert on the newspaper. They might go to the radio. They have brochures. These are the marketing thing, uh, tools they're using to get to the right customer. At the same way, with your CV, you're using it as a marketing document to market yourself to the recruiting manager or the person who is in charge of recruitment and employment. Now, the second thing you, uh, you need to know is what are you selling? When you're selling or you're marketing yourself, you're basically telling them, I am selling my skills, my abilities, my qualification, and my experience to the employer. So once you understand that is what you need to be selling, rather than just telling them I worked here and here, or I went to this school and this school. So put that in mind. Did you know it takes about six seconds for a recruiting manager or whoever is in charge of recruitment to decide if they are going to read through your CV or not? Yes, six seconds. Imagine you have, the, uh, remember the figure we talked about of 250 applications. Each one of them is given six seconds and they decide, is this something worth viewing or not? They decide right out there. Now, I want you to take your six seconds and look at a CV sample that I have. I'm going to put in the next slide and tell me what do you gather from this CV. So this is a CV of a guy called Daniel Mutuku, male, Kenyan, married, date of birth. I can see the ID number, phone number, email. With only this, this is what we call above the fold. Above the fold comes from, the, the term above the fold comes from the newspaper whereby you fold the newspaper and whatever is above the fold is what you see, the headline, what captures your attention. Now, the good thing nowadays with online application, I don't need to download your CV to, pre, uh, to look at it. I just click on preview and whatever appears on preview is what we call above the fold. So here is what I preview. I look at Daniel Motuku. I want to ask you a question. If you give it a look, what can Daniel Motuku do? He says nothing. Out of this, this is quite important information, but it's not telling us anything. So out of the six seconds, I can't get what this guy can do. I give him a benefit of doubt. I decide to scroll and below there, I can see we have career objectives. Here I have picked sample career objectives that I have collected from people's CVs. I am not going to disclose who, probably, probably even from your CV. And you will find some CVs uh, written something like this as a career objective. I am seeking employment with a company where I can grow professionally and personally. What can this person do? Still, this person is not communicating anything. Actually, this statement is a very selfish statement. You're telling the employer what you intend to gain from them rather than what you are coming to do for them. The secret to the job application, the whole job application process 
is that it's never about you. It's always about the employer. Tell them what you can do to them. How can you help them solve their problems? Not what you're in to gain. Another sample uh, collected one here saying, I'm seeking a challenging opportunity where I can fully use my skills for success of your organization. Yeah, good wordings, but still doesn't mean anything. You're not telling us which skills do you have that you're bringing in. Uh, another one here, I want to succeed in a stimulus and challenging environment that will provide me with advancement opportunity. Again, being selfish, telling the employer what you want to gain from them. Another one here, I want to excel in this field with hard work, perseverance and dedication. Again, good words, but you're not telling them anything. Did you know even the, pa the person, the most laziest, I don't know if that is the correct English, the most or the laziest person will still rise with their CV, I'm hardworking, how can you prove that? So you need to go above this kind of uh, statements that are good, sound good, but they don't communicate anything and replace them with what we are calling a personal branding statement. Instead of having the career objective, put a personal summary, a personal branding statement. Now, I'll invite you to read this statement. If this is what you read on the f above the fold, I am a steadfast, committed, and passionate sales leader. With over four years of experience, I have worked with ACT company as a sales team leader. I have a proven track of meeting and surpassing targets. In addition, I am in to, uh, intuitive and attentive listener readily uncovers customers customer needs to offer viable and enticing product solution do you have an idea what this guy can do of course yes if you're looking for a sales manager would you hire this person of course yes I can see he has worked in sales I can see the experience he has talked about his skills how how he has been able to uh, lead uh, teams and all that very interesting I'll say is that when you take some of these statements here you can easily copy the statement from person a uh, someone this is person a to person B CV and it is still work unfortunately you cannot copy this from somebody's CV to your CV and it work no you don't have the same kind of experience you have not worked where this place uh, this guy has worked so you need to have it very personalized and telling me uh, the employer what you can be able to do now you should not fret if your cv has such defects at career point solution we have what we call a free cv review i know most of uh, people who watch uh, are watching this or have interacted with us on uh, our website you have submitted your cv for free review then all of a sudden you say oh you're asking us to pay you said it was free how comes you're asking us to pay i'm going to clarify that number one when you send us your cv for free review this is what we do we will look at your cv and inform you of areas which can be improved whether or not your cv matches up to the job if you send your CV in the job description, we will tell you how your CV compares to the competitors because we have several CVs in the same industry. And what is very important, according to me, we will tell you what can be done to improve it. Now, with this feedback, you can use it to prepare your own professional CV or you can give us the opportunity to prepare professional CV for you at a price. That is why we charge. But giving you the feedback is free of charge. And if you have not received your feedback, I will ask you just go check your email and we'll get there. I will show you what you need to do to uh, get up, make your CV much better. I'll be talking about the prices later, but let's just move on. Now, once you have done right, you have matched your cover letter with the job description. Then the next thing is you do your application. And once you do the application, you are invited for an interview you're invited for an interview you need to be able to prepare yourself for the interview above the normal kind of, uh, story that goes there you just need to dress properly arrive in good time think about your body language expect the unexpected ask questions you need to think through the whole in your mind before you go for the interview 
questions that you expect to be asked during the interview there is almost a common pattern you will be asked tell us about yourself uh, why job what is your salary there are some series of questions which are almost the same not only what I have uh, shown here so you need to think about this question going to answer you will be in a better position or you will make a better impression if you have thought through these questions and have a rough idea of how to just get into the interview and being asked this question and you haven't given them any thought will prepare you also when you're going for an interview and this is what it will entail the review of your cover uh, of your CV we will ask you professional CV for you to pay and these are the charges if you can pick what we call the basic package and for the basic package you get a professional CV cover letter Remember, we have said cover letters are very specific to job description. So, every time you want to apply, we'll give you as many sample cover letters in your field as possible. And the price for this ranges between 1000 to 2000 uh, The price range depends on the level of education, it depends on amount of experience you have, and how much work we will need to do on your CV. So once you set your CV, give you a specific uh, figure. You can decide to pick a standard package will involve the professional CV, sample cover letters, and a LinkedIn profile guide. Initially, you will go to people's social media, Facebook and Twitter, what they're posting to get a rough idea of what this person is all about. But they later realize this is not very objective because people do other things rather than their professional work but what is more objective is looking at someone's LinkedIn profile and when you look at someone's LinkedIn profile you can objectively have a, a idea of who this person is so we'll give you a guide on how to LinkedIn profile the price ranges again from 1500 to 2500 how much work we need to do experience that and advance again you get all the services we have included online interviews which are a series of lessons that we have prepared to help you for an interview telling you the kind of questions to expect in an interview how to answer this question what is the intention of this question since once you know the intention of a question you can easily go ahead and provide answer. and the prices ranges between 1500 to 2500 so I would say your CV if you have not received your review send us back your CV I'll tell you how you can send the review with the exact prices this is is the roadmap and getting you in the so that you can go ahead apply for jobs and start getting the so this is not just uh, stories that I've given you here are some of the testimonials that I've received from people who used our services before now here we have Stanley Leggio these are just screenshots of uh, emails that people sent that I've just put here. Um, Stanley says, you have helped me job in two weeks. I have no better words to say. Thank you so much. I knew you were there. I don't regret uh, what I spent for the CV review. Kudos. Uh, this is someone else called uh, Jerry saying, hi, I'm happy to let you know that I finally got a job just a few months after you reviewed my CV. I'm grateful, continue doing the great work uh, is another one this is a long one I will take uh, the whole of this but this is one of the best uh, feedback I've ever gotten from them. Uh, the whole point of this uh, CV he says that after we four hours he had sent it out and uh, let me just read it I received 
I received three different calls within a span of 24 hours. Within a span of one week, I attended all the fortunate secured all the three jobs. This was after a pregnant search for a job for one whole year. I had I had I only had the difficult task choosing which one to go for, but eventually I opted for one and politely and professionally declined the other two. So this is the kind of feedback that I get that really, really moves me. Um I think there's one more here called uh this or oh, this I'm so overwhelmed. I wish I contacted you guys earlier. Enough. I think I will be having my dream job. I received a well done. The sample cover letters, the LinkedIn guide. Wow, you guys are amazing. Also, looking forward to enroll. Of course, I'll be talking about the course later. Here we have Calvin. Adam, thank you for your CV writing. Since you wrote for me my resume, I have attended a couple of interviews and my dream job thank you you can see this was like friday september 2017 and i received the email i want to tell you that professional cv writing and knowing how to play yourself works and i am very confident of what we offer and i guarantee you that if within a period there's about 60 days you don't see any difference in terms of your job application getting response being invited for an interview or even securing a job, we will refund you your money a hundred percent. Give your money back. That is guaranteed. That's how in our service. Hope that really entices you or m helps you make the decision that you need to go for the professional CV writing. So to get picked, two key things you need. One, a professional CV and a cover letter that is customized to the job description. Now, I want to show you this image. I hope you have seen this image before. If you have not, this is FedEx. FedEx is an international uh, courier service. And if you have seen this image before, that is good. If you have not seen it before, I want you to take just a moment to take a look at this. I will take it back and ask you, have you noticed that there is an arrow in that logo? Have you noticed that there is an arrow in that logo? I'll take it back and ask you. If you have not noticed, can you look for the arrow? I'll give you time to take a look at it. Can you spot the arrow? If no, I'll show you where it is. There is an arrow somewhere in that image. And it is right here. And you see an arrow here yeah I know you're saying oh yes that is the arrow secondly now that you have given it a moment and taken a look at this image did you notice that there's something that looks like a spoon in that arrow uh, in that logo if not I'll take it back I said can you see something like a spoon I'll give you a moment to take a look yeah keep looking if you haven't seen the spoon i'll point it for you now the spoon is somewhere here yeah something that looks like a spoon basically this exercise shows us that we have opportunities that present themselves in front of us day in day out and we will never see them unless someone directs us to these opportunities the same way, the first time I looked at this logo, I didn't see the arrow until someone directed me and showed me this arrow. And I'm sure it was easier for you to spot the spoon because you already know the trick or how these symbols or shapes are hiding themselves. So, the same way here at Career Point Solutions, we have been in the industry and we know about recruitment and job search and there are some things that we have come to learn and unless we point you to them you will never know the mistake that you're doing and that is why we're here is that okay 
Now, I want to go to the second objective. I don't want to make sh uh, this video too long, but I want to go to the next objective and ask what do we need to do to ensure that we stay competitive in the job market? Yeah. Now, remember, we have applied for this job. We have been invited for that interview. We met these people. We blew their expectation and they got at this job. So how do we stay competitive in the job market? That is what we are going to discuss. Now, why do we get paid? So we get paid as a compensation of the services that we offer to the employer. So either you're a web designer, you're an accountant, you're a consultant, you're doing support. So based on the services you offer, then you're compensated with a certain amount of money. The next thing that you need to think uh, about is what is used to measure how we are paid? The measure of how we are paid is based on the value that we bring in. Now, the more valuable you are, the more payment you will receive. And so the question is, to stay competitive in the job market is to ensure that you become more valuable as an employee. So what makes us more valuable? What makes us valuable is adding skills. When we have skills, the more skills we add onto ourselves, we become more valuable. And there are two types of skills. It's what we call technical skills. Technical skills are very specific to the career line. An accountant will have different skills in accounting compared to someone who is in engineering or as an architect or IT. So different careers have different skills that you can improve on, which will be different. Then we have what we call soft skills. Soft skills are skills that you can easily, uh, they cut across all the fields. For example, communication skills. This is something that is needed in accounting, but it might be needed in as a customer care in all this field. So soft skills cut across all the different types of fields. We have communication skills, presentation skills, uh, time management skills, all these skills are very important. So what you need to do and ask yourself is, in my industry, what is the one skill that I need to acquire to ensure that I become marketable, to be uh, not even marketable, to ensure that I am valuable, I am increasing my value. I went through and I got this quote here by Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn is an international uh, motivation speaker and also an entrepreneur and he says that the more valuable you become in your company the more influence you have the better communicator you are you manage your time better and you recognize people for their contribution you also become more valuable as a spouse parent and friend what this means is that when you take time and develop yourself and get skills and make yourself more valuable, you're not only doing it for the employer or for the company. These are things and the benefits that come across, you carry along. You even become a better spouse, you become a better parent, you become a better friend. You're adding even value to your relationship away from work. And some of the things that uh, Jim Rohn says here, you become of more influence, that is a skill you can decide to work on how do I become of more influence, how do I influence more people. Being a better communicator, you are able to manage time well. All these are skills and you need to think about how do I make myself more valuable. And to make even this point uh, go home much better, uh, we have Darren Hardy. Darren Hardy is the editor of uh, Success Magazine. I came across a video where he talks about professional development. He breaks it out what is really entailed about professional development. Um, so uh, just taking this point home, adding skills to yourself, uh, our uh, skills to ourselves and to become more valuable. And I will just let you watch this video uh, where he explains the importance of professional development. So why develop you? Let's take a moment and talk about this because this is one of the most essential aspects of you growing your business, particularly in the area of leadership. Why develop you? The reality is, is that you are the center of your universe. 
your entire experience on this planet is 100% dependent upon how you show up on this planet. You see, the world does revolve around you. I mean, if I look around me right now, pretty much looks like the world revolves around me. And the world responds and reacts to you. Every environment you enter, every room you enter, every conversation you enter, you are a lightning rod. And people react or act accordingly based on how you cause them to. See, you're a lightning rod of every conversation, of every room that you enter. You start a ripple effect of reaction everywhere you go. So this is the reason why Jim Rohn was said, for things to improve, you have to improve. For things to change, you have to change. For things to get better, you have to get better. So your personal development, which is a very sort of ambiguous idea and term. Let me see if I can make the understanding of personal development a little bit more tangible. It's kind of like a thermostat, okay? If you were to take a thermostat and you set it for a particular temperature, let's say it's 70 degrees, that means no matter what happens on the outside, the temperature inside will remain the same because the thermostat will regulate the room temperature. So, for instance, if all of a sudden it gets really hot outside, the thermostat will do what? It'll kick on the air conditioner and it'll bring the temperature the, the, the temperature down back to 70. Now, if all of a sudden it gets really cold outside, what will the thermostat do? It'll kick on the heater and bring the temperature back to 70. The inside room will always remain the same no matter what happens on the outside. So the way that this looks in your outcomes in life is a lot like this. You will only ever experience the level of success that matches, that matches your personal development set point. Right now, you have a personal development set point, and it's locked in. And no matter what happens on the outside, it'll always settle right back down to your personal development set point. So for instance, let's say that all of a sudden you run into a bunch of money. You, you inherit it, your business takes off, whatever, and you're given a bunch of money, and it's far personal development set point. What's probably going to happen? The thermostat's going to kick on the air, and it's going to bring the temperature, your money, right back down to the level of wealth that you're comfortable with. We see it all the time with lottery winners, right? Somebody makes $30,000 a year, is handed $20 million, and in two, three, four years, what's usually the case? They're broke. How can somebody who makes $30,000 a year get handed $20 million, and in two to four years be broke? You see, what happened was, is the money was way above their set point. And so unconsciously, the air kicked in. And they did everything they could to get rid of the money. Unconsciously, to get rid of the money. Poor choices, poor decisions, extra spending, all the rest of this. Until it went right back down to their level of comfort. Back to their personal development set point. Take health. This is the reason why we have the largest health industry in the history of humanity. But we've never been more fat in the history of humanity as well. Because if you go and lose a bunch of weight, but that weight image is way above your personal development set point, unconsciously air will kick in and you'll find yourself right back to where your personal development set point is locked in. Okay? Take your business right here. You could luck on finding somebody who does really well and your business starts to take off. But I'll tell you, if you don't correct and increase your personal development set point, it'll find its way right back down to match your set point. Okay, so what do you do about this? What do you go, well, well, my personal development set point must be really low. We know, by the way, exactly where your personal development set point is right now. I know exactly where every single person's personal development set point is. How can I know? I can look at your health, and I can look at your wealth. And I can look at your relationships, and we know exactly where your personal development set point is. So if it's too low for you to be successful in a business like this or in any endeavor, what do you do? The only thing that you can change is yourself. When you grow and develop and raise your personal development set point, this is what Jim Rohn promised. 
When you grow and raise your personal development set point, now everything around you grows along with you. Your relationships grow, your money grows, your business grows, your health grows. But the key to this whole equation is you have to raise your personal development set point. That's the keystone to the whole equation. The keystone isn't trying to figure out how to handle objections. The keystone isn't, you know, figuring out recruiting scripts. The keystone is when you grow, everything in your life grows with you. When you improve, everything improves. When you change, everything changes along with you. That's why that's so important. What controls your attention controls your life. You want to write something down? That's something to write down. What controls your attention controls your life. I remember when I interviewed Mario Andretti, one of the greatest race car drivers in the history of race car driving. I said, if you could boil it down to a single lesson, the most important thing somebody needs to know to become a world-class race car driver, what would it be? He said, don't look at the wall. Yeah, I'm like, really? That's all you got? He's like, it's really important. I said, why? He says, because your car will go in the direction of your eyes. And if you look at the wall, your car will end up on the wall. It's as simple as that. When I was learning to surf in San Diego for the month that I tried, one of the first lessons that the surf instructor said, he says, hey, it's as simple as just point your eyes in the direction you want your board to go and your board will follow. That's what he told me. Now, if you're a tight rope walker, what's the one thing you never do? Why? Because your body will follow your eyes. This is what I'm telling you about life. Your body is following your eyes. Your life is going into the direction that you are looking. Let me say it again. Your life is going in the direction that you're looking. To do this, you have to protect it, okay? So turn off all the negative sensation as much as you can. Stay away from it. Avoid it at all costs. And then two is you have to feed your mind. You have to go looking for those positive sources of flushing your mind on a regular basis. This requires you to invest in yourself. One of the greatest principles that I was taught by Brian Tracy when I was 18 years old, okay, 18, changed the direction of my life forever. He said, look, there's a 10-10 rule. 10-10 rule is you want to take 10% of all the money you make, set it aside, and tithe it to help other people. That's an ancient tradition, tithing to help other people. And then he says, you want to take another 10% and you want to set it aside and you want to use it to help yourself. You want to reinvest it in your personal development. And he set me on a path when I was 18 to take 10% of everything I made and reinvest it in myself. When I was 18, it was, I made $150,000 a year, so I consumed $15,000 worth of personal development. You make a half a million dollars a year, you make a, you make a few million. It gets harder and harder for me to spend 10% every single year on my personal development. But I'm almost like religious about it. I'm almost superstitious. If I don't go and spend this money by December 31st, I won't be continuing to kill it next year like I've done every year since he taught me that. All about leveling up my personal development. 10% to help others, 10% to help yourself. And this is what he promises. For every dollar you invest in your personal development, it'll return $30 to your bottom line over time. Now, that's a 3,000% return. Go look at the stock market. Go look at commodities. Go look at real estate. You're not getting a 3,000% return. The best investment there is ever to make is the investment in yourself, in your personal development. I asked the investment guru, this is Charles Schwab, who democratized personal financial investing. And I, I asked him, I said, what do you think the best investment is out there? This was his answer. He makes money taking your money and investing it in the stock market. But his answer was, I really think people should make their first investment in themselves. You start with yourself because that's where you're going to have the highest returns ever. I want to encourage you to take on a philosophy of constant investment in your personal development. Because when you grow, everything else in life grows along with you. Do you guys have big goals here for yourself? Big goals? Big dreams? Big ambitions? Here's what I want to challenge you with then. Take the size of your goal and make it match the size of the investment you make in your personal growth. 
You have to grow into your goals. You only accomplish the goals that you've grown into. In order to grow, you've got to invest so that you get on the other side of the achievement. Jim Rohn taught me, he said, don't evaluate something what it costs. Don't say, well, what does it cost? Ask instead, what is it worth? What's the outcome that could be produced if I learn what's inside this tool that can help me with my future? So my last challenge to you in terms of developing yourself personally is this. I want you to undergo an extreme attitudinal makeover. If you want to reach the heights of the successful people we showed as an example, it's going to require you really leveling up your attitude. Baffle, bewilder, become completely unrecognizable to your friends, family, neighbors, high school, college, alumni buddies with your new improved you. Have them say, I don't know what happened. I don't know what he or she is on, but I want some. Have them say that about your new you as you go through this attitude. There we go. The importance of professional development. My key takeaway is that uh, for things to change, you have to change. And you really need to take time and invest in yourself. And don't look at the cost of something. Ask yourself, what is the worth? And that is a better question to direct you on where to spend your money. So here at Career Point Solutions, we preach or we do what we preach. And we also have some professional development programs. I had talked to you earlier about digital skills. Initially, uh, employers were looking for people who are computer literate. But right now, everyone can operate a computer. Now, the skills that employers now are looking for is what we call digital skills. Google has recognized this gap or this need and has developed a digital skills training and they are offering this skill, uh, this training for free. Now, there are some physical classes that you can attend at Immobilis in Nairobi, Westlands. We always uh, advertise or notify people from our website and also from our Facebook page. And there's the online version. I will encourage you to do the online uh, course because it's more comprehensive. And all you need to do is go to this link here. So just type in your browser bit.ly slash digital skills ke i will post a link uh, below this video uh, if you're watching it on youtube or you're watching it on facebook you can see the link so it is bit.ly slash digital skills ke you will just need to sign up for that course go through uh, the 23 topics they have 23 topics and at the end of the course you will get a certificate as a um, digital marketer this certificate is endorsed by google and it is recognized by employer so why not start immediately after you watch this video i don't want you to leave and do that course and get the digital skills that employers are looking for these are skills that you can also use for business if you want to run a business if you have an offline business you want to make it online or you're running an online business they'll give you skills that you need so digital skills training by google the uh, website the link you go to is bit.ly slash digital skills ke also here at career point solutions we have our own courses where we offer one project management and two project monitoring and evaluation we were informed to come up with these courses because mainly if you want to work in the development world uh, these are ngo jobs it is crucial that you have these skills. They usually are looking for people who have uh, some skills in project management or monitoring and ev evaluation. So we offer these courses. They are also online courses. And we have come up with, uh, we use a certified curriculum that is acceptable by employers. And they find actually the kind of skills that we offer in this course very valuable. So a bit more about these courses. One is that they are done online and the duration for the course takes about 10 to 15 hours. Uh, this does not mean you need to sit down for the 10 hours or 15 hours. So you can decide just to do like one hour a day and you can complete the course in two weeks or two hours a day. 
and you will be through in one week now once you do this course there are three ways that you can access you will create an online account for you so that you access this course from an online platform at the same time we will send you an ebook that you can easily download and be reading on your device if you don't have internet or you can come to our office and collect a physical manual so all these three uh, modes have the same content so you can decide to read online or download the book or just come for the physical booklet once you are through with that you will do an online assessment which is timed for one hour it's a series of multiple choice questions to ensure that you have actually read through the course and once you do the assessment it will take you takes us about one week and your certificate will be ready for collection in our office in Mindeleo house uh, that is opposite anniversary towers third floor room number six i will be posting also on the comment below where you can find our offices now this is not just rhetoric and this is shown by this email that i got from a lady called joan ireri who says Hope you're good. I did an online course with you. I'm yet to collect the certificate. Shortly thereafter, I got a job as a project coordinator. Do you offer courses on proposal writing? This basically shows you that the courses we offer are more focused on the skills and you being able to execute your duties. And even without the certificate, this lady was able to get a job as a project coordinator. And so you ask, how do I get started on this course? So we have what we call an advanced plus package, whereby you get all the services that we offer. That includes professional CV writing, uh, sample cover letters, LinkedIn guide, online coaching, and either of the two courses, either project management or project monitoring and evaluation at a reduced price of only 9999 Initially, the cost of the course is 25000 but we're giving you a discount and offering it at 9999 So, how do you get started with any of the services that you offer? So, all you need to do is at least pay 50%. Now, for example, you pick a professional CV writing whereby the cost is 1000 for the basic package. All you need to do is just send 500 shillings. If you want to take the course, uh, the advanced package for 9,999, 50% will be 4,999. And you send the money using our till number. So go to Mpesa, pay for goods and services, enter the till number, which is 715732. Within 24 hours, we'll be able to prepare a professional CV for you and send it uh, to you. If you're paying for the online uh, course, it only takes about 30 minutes for us to open a learning account for you and we will send you all the details. So very easily to contact us, you can easily visit our website, which is careerpoint.co.ke or you can email me directly. My email is daniel at careerpoint.co.ke and I will be able to uh, contact you and give you all the information that you need now for you good people who have decided to hang on in there with me up to this last point I know most uh, many people will start watching the video and at some point they will leave but you have stuck with me up to this minute I want to give you a special offer here is a special offer I am offering you I am offering you the Advanced Plus package at a reduced price of Kenya shillings 5999 and all you need to do to take advantage of this offer is send me 50% of the amount which is 2999 using our till number that is 715732 and email me the transaction code plus include promo code video and you will be ready to take this offer once you do this it will only take me 30 minutes to create your online learning account and you start learning you send us your cv and we start preparing a professional cv for you now if you had paid any amount earlier for professional cv writing for example you had paid 1000 shillings 
all you need to do we will subtract that amount from this 5999 so it means all you need to pay is 4999 and I want to caution you and mention this the services that we are offering and specifically this offer that we are extending it to you it is not for everyone clearly this is not for everyone many people have watched our videos have attended our sessions our seminars visited our offices and still didn't pick and we totally understand you can take the feedback that we give you the information we give you so that you can go and improve your cv that's okay this service is not out there for everyone it is out there for people who know the importance of professional development they want to progress in their career and they want to do it seamlessly by giving professionals the opportunity to work with them and help them out and we understand that this is not for everyone i will insist on that and if you feel you're the special one you want to move on with your career you want to be uh, the one who shines in the office people will be wondering what is wrong what has happened to this person how comes they are able to progress they are noticed by the boss they are given promotion and there's something up with them then take up this service so what will be the return on investment if you decide to pick up our service one I can assure you that you will definitely get a good job and what comes with a good job you will get better pay you will become more valuable to your company such that uh, it will be very hard to get fired and at the same time other companies will start looking for you and this is when poaching takes place and once you become more valuable most definitely you get extra cash to do what you would like to do go for a holiday uh, buy a certain item you have been eyeing and there's so many good things that comes when you have extra cash and the most important thing is personal development you will have just started on this journey of professional development and thereafter it will progress you will find other things that you want to conquer improve on your certain skills and you become more valuable to your company on the other end what happens what is the return on inaction what is going to happen if you do nothing I can assure you nothing will happen to you you will experience no change and when there's no change things remain the same for a very long time you fall into despondency which is basically a state of low spirits caused by loss of hope and courage I know so many people who have been applying for jobs they don't get any response they get devastated their hopes uh, goes down and it is downhill from there onwards I don't want you to get to that point and that's why I'm reminding you of the offer get all the services we offer and one of the costs either project management and monitor or project monitoring and evaluation at a reduced price of 5999 all you need to do is to pay 50 percent which is 2999 through our till number email me the transaction code plus promo code video to my email which is daniel at careerpoint.co.ke i want to say thank you very much for watching uh, this video and having time to learn from us at career point solution i have posted my email there in case of any questions i'm welcoming them email them to me take advantage of this offer it will not be here for long but in the period that this video is going to be up i'm giving you take up at least 24 hours to make the payment send me the transaction code plus the message promo code video Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.